everything about these devices is in the prints on these two boxes here except for one thing the truth about killing mosquitoes hi take the bye jun tariman here join me until the end of this video as i'm going to show you that this device and this little fancy mosquito trap here may not be effective in reading out mosquitoes in our homes please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell Ang dalawang bagay na ito ay sanhi sa akin pagkabudol doon sa isang grupo ng mga home nanays and tatays on Facebook. I first saw a post on this cute white lamb and ayon sa nagpost in just a few days ang daming lamok na natrap sa loob nito. At pinakita pa niya yung laman na mga lamok doon sa storage box inside this device. Ito namang Daimaro Insect Killer. Marami ding nagsabi na ito ay epektibo laban sa lamok. But sa totoo lang, I was really doubtful of the claims because as far as I knew, these types of devices won't work effectively against mosquitoes. So, nabudol ako at bumili ako online para lang mapapatunayan ko kung talagang totoo ang mga sinasabi nila. Ang tawag nito ng manufacturer ay Photocatalytic Mosquito Lamp. It only consumes about 5 watts of power and can be powered by any 5 uh, volt charger via USB. Three things how this device, according to the manufacturer, will kill mosquitoes. Una, ginamit niya as photocatalytic device ay ang dalawang LED na nasa tenga ng device which will emit UV light or ultraviolet light. Ano ba yung photocatalytic? Photo means light, while catalytic is from the word catalyst. Sa Tagalog, ang catalyst ay siyang nag para mangyari ang isang bagay. So, it uses light as a catalyst. Sabi ng manufacturer, it uses the phototaxis characteristics of uh, the mosquitoes. Phototaxis is the natural ability of the mosquitoes or any insects either to be attracted or repelled by a source of light. If the mosquito is attracted to the light, then it is positive phototaxis. But if the mosquito is driven away, then the light is negative negative phototaxis. And here's my take. Kahit malakas pa ang UV light na ginamit sa lamp dito, mosquitoes will not be attracted on it based on several studies of mosquitoes and UV lights. Since this lamp is using a very small amount of light from the LED, surely this will not attract mosquitoes. Besides, based on study, mosquitoes are either attracted to black or dark colors or very bright colors. Kaya sa bahay natin, yung mga dark clothes, yung mga even the dark appliances sa bahay ay tinambayan ng lamok. As regards to very bright color, Siguro nakita nyo rin yung uh, very bright yellow lamp ng ibang anti-mosquito devices. So yun. Second claim na manufacturer, itong maliit na computer fan dito sa loob ng uh, device agitates the surrounding air to form an air vortex above the device which sucks the mosquito into the storage box inside. A vortex may be a mass of uh, whirling fluid or air kung sa panahon pa ito ay water spout o ang kinatawag natin na uh, buhawi kung sa hangin naman ito ay um, tinatawag na tornado or alimpos in the Visayan language. And here's my take. While it may be true, the small fan here creates a vortex in the air just above it, I just find the fan 
too small to create a powerful vortex that is enough to suck the mosquito hovering above this device. So I made a try using this piece of paper to show if there's really a vortex effect above the device. The thin sheet of paper is pulled down towards the grill, so there is really an air vortex here, but the only thing is I can't quantify how strong the vortex. If I pull the paper up, it can easily be taken away from the grill. I do not know if whether or not mosquitoes can resist the force of the air vortex to save themselves from being sucked by the device or by the fan. So my verdict is, this really sucks some insects, but I only found two mosquitoes after about two months of using this device. So air vortex here is not really efficient. Third and final claim, now manufacturer. The mosquito will be trapped in the storage box after it was sucked by the fan and eventually will die inside due to dehydration. So here's my take for this third and final claim. It is hard to determine if the dead mosquitoes inside the storage box really died of dehydration or if, what, if it was just hit by the blades of the fan. Baka tinamaan lang ang blades ng fan, kaya namatay. <laughs> okay? So, the verdict is, there's no proof whether or not namatay ang lamok dahil sa dehydration as claimed by the manufacturer. Sa kabila naman, itong Daimaro Professional Insect Killer, ay meron ding tatlong paraan in killing mosquitoes. First way, Itong dalawang 10 watts ultraviolet fluorescent tubes here can generate warm light similar to human body temperature. So, ibig sabihin ng manufacturer, mapagkamalan ng mosquitoes na tao ang device na to dahil sa init ng kanyang tube. So, here's my take. This may be a false claim because UV light does not emit heat. Heat is transmitted in lower frequencies like the infrared. So, kung hindi nag-transmit ng heat ang UV light, how can it invite mosquitoes? Second, it is not only our body temperature that attracts mosquitoes, but the carbon dioxide o amoy ng katawan ng tao. This leads to the second way or claim by the manufacturer. The tube and the metal above the tube are coated with titanium dioxide. Once the tube and the metal is heat or irradiated by the ultraviolet light, this produces carbon dioxide and this is now what we call the photocatalyst effect. So here's my take. Again, this might be a false claim or might be a deception. While it is true that titanium dioxide is a photocatalyst, but it doesn't produce carbon dioxide. Based on my readings, opinions of experts say if there is a carbon dioxide release in the air when titanium dioxide is irradiated by UV lights, it will be very small amount of carbon dioxide that can be released in the air. Okay? You need carbon to oxidize and produce that CO2. Also, I found a published study indicating the effect of UV irradiation on the titanium dioxide. But it is not for mosquitoes or producing carbon dioxide, but it's against airborne bacteria and viruses. The titanium dioxide, when irradiated with UV light, according to the study, may have a killing power against viruses, including the coronaviruses. 
Manufacturers use titanium dioxide as a coating of uh, fluorescent tube or black light because it is effective in absorbing UV light and will protect us from exposure to UVC radiation and not primarily to create carbon dioxide. Finally, the third way is this small water fan here inside the device. Sabi ng uh, manufacturer, mosquitoes may be lured in breeding here on the pan. My take, this is overkill and it's useless. How could mosquitoes breed in a very bright surroundings? Second, the moment mosquitoes entered inside this device, if ever, it will be electrocuted by the powered metal grid. So again, this is not true. By the way, this device is rated 20 watts because of the two 10 watts fluorescent tube here. The tube is a 365 nanometer UV light, which is a UVA type ultraviolet light. Its tube emits um, a dull bluish light. Sabi na manufacturer, this is the particular color light wavelength that uh, insects are attracted. So take note, the manufacturer said insects, not mosquitoes that are attracted to the color. In one of the articles in New York Times in 2019, it said bug zappers like this kill bugs, but it kills the wrong bugs. They are ineffective against mosquitoes and other biting flies. The article quoted experts saying the indiscriminate killing by zappers of bugs can disrupt pollination and generally affects the balance of our environment. So, ano bang ibig sabihin nito? Kung nakita niyo yung mga bees, sila yung nagpollinate sa mga flowers, di ba? So, kung mamamatay yun sila, then wala na magpollinate sa mga flowers. <laughs> Yan ang reason, okay? So, since I started using the Daimaro Insect Killer, most, if not all, bugs go directly inside the device and all of it are killed. But I could not see dead mosquitoes. So where are the mosquitoes? They are still flying around my legs. I am more attracted to mosquitoes than the Daimaro Insect Killer, which is just a few inches from me. I killed some of the of those mosquitoes using anti-mosquito spray or by bare hands. I encourage you to do research and educate yourselves about these highly marketed devices here. I have nothing against the manufacturer or the inventor of these devices, but this must be stopped. Do not buy these devices. If you have any thoughts, please do comment below and let's have an educated discussion about these devices. Do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to click that notification bell. Thank you so much. Hi, take the bye. I'm Jun Tariman.